Hi there everyone, my name is Andy Ford and I'm the creator of the online course Confidence Through Comedy. Uh, you can find out more at confidencethroughcomedy.com. I've got lots of hints and tips of how you can create laughter and add humour to your conversations, say in the workplace or with friends, down the pub or social gatherings. Maybe you've got a speech to write. So I've got lots of hints and tips that I'm going to be giving you on these vlogs and you can also go to the website and find out all about it, how to enrol and uh, improve your communication skills and enhance your personality and self-confidence with humour. Uh, today's top tip is all about delivering a joke. So how to tell a joke. Um, here's me doing this joke on the stage. And he took me camping when I was a little boy. Uh, it took me camping. It was about 3.30 in the morning. It's all about exciting. I just lie there. And I woke him up. I said, Dad, look at all the beautiful stars. I've never seen so many stars. What, what does that make me think of? He said, I'll tell you something it makes me think of. It makes you think that our planet is just one of millions of stars in our galaxy. And our galaxy is one of millions of galaxies in the universe. And I feel quite insignificant and small. He said, what's it make you think? I said, I think someone has nicked our ten. <laughs> so it's quite a simple gag, that one. Quite easy. Um, well, it seems easy, but let's, let's just break it down. It's a lovely punchline. I think someone's nicked our tent. It's a funny gag. Uh, the reason it's funny is it comes as a surprise. The word tent is never used at the beginning of the joke. In the setup, the word tent isn't used. We've intimated that I'm at a camping site, so therefore I might possibly be in a tent, but I haven't underlined it. And at the start of the joke is very important as well. Never forget, you used to take me camping. So immediately, my delivery has told you that I have a great relationship with my dad. He used to take me camping. Those six words have just said, we'd probably get in the car and take all the equipment out. When we got there, there were lots of tents all over the place, people milling around, caravans. You know, there was a, a tap where you could get your water and all that sort of, people completely imagine their view of what camping was. And I'll never forget, about 3.30 in the morning, I was just lying there, so I've obviously, woken up halfway through my sleep. Now people will now be concentrating on me. I haven't mentioned I was inside. I just said I was lying there. And I woke my dad up and I said, Dad, look. I moved my head up. I didn't say I looked up to the skies because immediately that might put the thought in people's minds. Well, how could he see up if he's in a tent? So I left that bit out. So you're watching me. It's not just words. It's physical delivery as well. What does that make you think? What does the scenario of all these stars make you think? And then dad goes down the road of, there are so many million stars, I'm just a small person, millions of stars in the galaxy, millions of galaxies, building it up. I've taken it miles away from the fact that we're camping. And then he says to me, what does it make you think? And I don't say, it makes me think that, I just hit in quick with, I think someone's nicked our tent. It's sort of small working class as opposed to grand, ethereal, look at them stars. So the, work, the joke works because of the contrast as well. But so few words in the joke to set up all those scenarios. Less words building up to the punchline gives more power to the punchline. The more you do this, and there are a lot of hints and tips on the website for telling jokes, personalizing them. I mean, you might just have read that joke in a book, um, but I've decided to make it about me and my dad. So it becomes a story and not just a joke. And it's about my experiences. And if you're telling a whole load of jokes like that, say it becomes routine, people are then engaged. They know there's gonna be a laugh every so often, but it, they feel like they're getting a little bit of your life as well. So that's about it really. Uh, there are lots of hints and tips for joke telling, joke writing, um, making yourself a more confident speaker. 
and it's on the website confidencethroughcomedy.com. Go and have a look and I'll see you soon for some more hints and tips. <laughs>